Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm back with um, kind of a part two of my room tour. I didn't finish this side, this wall, and um, basically this is uh, more about what I keep near me when, um, when I organize my craft room. What do I go to the most? What do I want around me so that I'm not getting up and down all the time? And... So that being said, let's just start, and this is stuff that I, I don't need um, near me. It just fit, sometimes that, that plays into it too, how you organize, but like, I had some bigger watercolor paper pads, and that's an, uh, a wider rack, so it, it fit there. It's at least 18 inches, I believe, maybe, maybe smaller. Um, and then this is Clang, so those bigger bins, the one with the purple lid there, that one, that fits there. So that's it's just clang stuff. That's the two blue stackables are my like art journaling stuff. So all my mark making tools for art journaling. And then the last one, that's just all my Christmas clang stuff. And then this is paint. So I'll get up and come around and grab the paints I need and you usually put them in a little bin to bring to my table. But I didn't need them right at the ready. So and actually that fit there. So um, my camera's plugged in, so I'm just going to move it onto the surface of my table. I'm kind of shooting up right now. Let's see. Um, so this this desk, I got it on Amazon, and I liked it's a one-piece setup so that this, the bookcase area is part of the desk. So I... And, and they're actually 12 inches, right? 12 inches, or maybe even more. Yeah, oh yeah. So maybe 16 by 16? Something like that. And I can fit, so this is double. Oh, you, you can't, I'm not, you're not in the shot. Sorry, Sarah, hold on. I'm saying sorry to myself. All right, but anyway, so let's just start with this cubby. I love these bins, you guys, from like the Dollar Tree. I don't know if Target sells these, but I know for a fact, and I got them a while ago, so I don't even know if they're still there, but they fit perfectly up there, and that's just for, um, in the bottom one, the pink one, is all my ATC stuff. So I have kits in there, I have bits and bobs and pieces of lace and fabric and ribbon and all little things that you would put on a, a two and a half by three and a half uh, ATC. Um, the second shelf is kind of like, uh, it's all stuff that I would use for um, mixed media, basically, on that bin. Uh, parts of collage, little bins filled with collage and things like that. And then this is just decoration. This is all ATC stuff. All ATCs. Um, and the one below, and I'm gonna, I want to do this in more detail too. This is all clay, tiles that I've made, all types of stuff. Um, my paper towels, and I don't even know what's in here. Is this ATCs, or I don't even remember. It's, these are pocket letters that I've made that I was going to send out that I never did, and oh my god, they are so cute. <laughs> Anywho, um, well, two of them are. So, and then I just have, like, on my desk... I always need a pin. I don't know about you guys, but like when your when your glue gets clogged or whatever it is, I always need a pin. So I keep pins at the ready. These I'm just gonna add flowers to and maybe put in my um, fairy garden. This is kind of just something I made that I like, and it just has pretty things in it. All these like little I could use them for tiles on a mosaic, but they're. Uh, glass cabs that I've put paper behind. I don't know. I just, it's a stained glass box that I made. And these are brushes, kind of like go-to brushes. I always need Q-tips. I use Q-tips all the time for painting for everything, just to clean up. Um, and then what do I have over here? I just got this at Christmas Tree Shops and it's a cutting board, but it's flat. My other one is ridgy and bumpy. But I can't wait to see what this is like for using to do clay. I might use this instead of a tile because it's glass. Um, and I like the size of it. And then over here I have my, I made these. I made this stained glass little uh, calling card 
It has ATCs in it and some little cards. And this has shrinky dinks in it. I don't know. Anyway, but I just, I made them. So I just like them. They make me happy. Uh, my spinny, which I, I have to say, this thing used to annoy me. Um, but reorganize it. Get it to where it's what the, uh, I'm sorry I'm yelling. I always feel like I'm yelling in my videos. Get it to where it's everything you use. I have all my Sharpies. Like, see, I don't use these. This is when I was going to do, um, what's it called? Planner. Like, do planning stuff. I don't use them, but anyway. My Sharpies are here. I have a lighter because when sometimes when I was working with fabric, I would always want to um, seal the fabric so I wouldn't fray, and so I would burn the edges. I don't know. Um, this is, like, for scrapbooking, and I'll probably never use it again. Uh, but this is some this is my extra pens like this is gel pens but they're extras um and my wink estella this is my really scruffy brushes like ones that i would use for um putting mod podge on or glue um and there's some good brushes in there too um oop, mary allen made me this i want to put it back up my little sour banner and it's just hanging from a, di a dot like one of those uh Thoughts, but thank you, Mary Allen. I love it so much. My Sarah Banner. Um, this is my like other markers. Yeah, I mean, I don't use them a ton anymore, but it was it's very organized. And then this is just scissors, random scissors, and my rulers. Um, but here's my little distressing tool. Like, if you organize this, it's a great thing to have. Like, I have. Those are blending stumps, and then in the other one I have my razor blade. Oh, no, not in that one. <laughs> that was all the hooks for up there. This is my razor blades. Um, but when it's organized, it's a great handy tool to have. And then over here, now this area of my desk, by the way, is on top of, see my desk ends here. Actually, you can't see my hand. Move back a little bit. My desk ends right here. That area is on top of those um, Michaels. I can't think of the name of the freaking company. I guess it's Recollections, but I think they were the different ones um, that are 12 by 12 bins that you can hold your scrapbook paper and all that stuff, and that's what's in the bins. But on top of it, I have my ATG gun, which I love this thing. When I first got this, and I have to recommend it too, I love the ATG gun. Like if you're a scrapbooker and you do um, paper crafting, the sucker is so awesome. It's, it's really worth it. I love that. Um, and this is another storage type. Um, it, it's a caddy that I think you could use for... Um, cutlery if you want to but it happened to have um, on this side there's like a grid in here and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you that yeah you can see that there's like a grid that holds little brushes and all individual things so this is where I hold a lot of brushes too and on the other side it just has three cubbies and this is my scissors um, not a lot. I, I try not to overwhelm it with a lot of stuff, but this is my exacto. I use this all the time. My exacto blades, my dotting tools, and my stylus. I can put that over here. Um, not stylus. What is this called? You guys know what it's called. Um, my tweezers. So all that type of tooly stuff is in there. Then I decided to get these from the dollar store. Let's see if I can point. I'm going to turn a little bit and point down. But these are at the dollar store, and they're very handy to have because things don't go rolling away, and um, I have my glue stick in here, an eraser, a pencil sharpener. Um, so this is kind of like, there's some Sharpies, there's my white um, pencil lead for my mechanical pencil. So this is kind of pencil-y. This is a pen. But then this was is kind of like my go-to markers. Oh my God, just all my, oh see this is a pencil. My pencil goes in the other one. So I tried to keep it like pencils and pens separate. 
but there's gel pens in here. My elegant writer, the eraser can go in there. Um, and some Pascas. I have a couple Pascas, which I think I'm going to put. I'll put the white and the pink back in their package. Oh, there's a tile. Um, and the blue. I'll put them back in their package. But the black Pasca I leave out. See, here's the black Pasca. So, but they're, it's just handy to have, and they don't go anywhere, and they don't roll around. So I really like, that's something new that I, I've only been doing that for kind of since I started Lifebook, maybe this year, which is almost, we're halfway done this year already, which is crazy. And then I keep this here, which is just a little note holder that I painted for just when I want to write something down. Like right here, it says Tracy Bolin, Dragon's Eye Tutorial, Me and Mum Crafts, things that I want to remember to tell you guys or something. It just has a normal uh, notebook in it and a couple of bookmarks that I made. And I could keep a pen in there too. Um, but that's kind of what sits on my desk. So, and then I have, um, this is, what are these called? A self-healing mat that I just, this, this desk is white. So it's a very, you know, I'm going to get it messy if I, you know, of course I am. Um, and then I also have two of these. I got this one at a, um, scrapbooking um, shop when I was taking classes there. So this isn't the Ranger one. It's different. It has like a, a sticky back on it and it is old and it is used up but it still works and does the trick in it. Uh, you know, it protects your surface. But I also have the Ranger one as well that I'll put down but it makes a um, it glares on video so I like to shoot when I'm shooting I like to just use my uh, self-healing mat and I, I usually replace these from time to time because I like them to look neat I don't want them to look all you know gunky so and I get them gunky so all right so where was I um, I don't think I showed this part now this is like I said go to stuff but I'm not going to it very often at the moment this is what I would consider um, right here is all mixed media collage, um, art journaling, that type of stuff. My iPad. And this is actually an applique. Um, I've been using this for my applique designs. So when I go upstairs, which I'm, I didn't get to that, but I think I'm going to go, I'm going to have a space upstairs that I'm going to be able to do some sewing. That I won't have to disassemble it all the time and it can stay there. Um, but for now, that just has been there for a while and I'm going to leave it there. Um, cause Lifebook is in the process. I haven't been doing it as much, but I will get back to that. My stickles and this really doesn't have a purpose at the moment. This is toothpicks, which I definitely use toothpicks a lot too for claying. It's a, it's a great tool to have. Um, and there's really nothing in here. So this is, this isn't really a very handy thing to get like I, I thought it was a cute accessory I probably got it on sale or something but it, it's not like useful I don't know I guess it could be but it's like the shape of it isn't it's perfect for these you know so maybe I'll start putting small stuff in there um and then down below in this cubby I have all my um plugs so I have one of these what is it called like a, a few uh surge protector or something because I only have like a regular plug behind there so I put this surge protector here I have an iPad charger here my heat tool plugged in and this is the camera's plug the charger so it's just a handy way to reach everything um, and then oh Allie thank you my owl Allie sent me a box of love of all, like, let me just show you real quick. I thought I did a video. I, I don't think I posted it. I think I did a video, but I didn't post it. Um, and this is, let me see if I can shoot down. This is a folder that she sent me and it just looks, it has a vintage look to it, but wait until you see what's inside. We're talking vintage. We're talking the real deal. Fractions and decimals, like an old math book. Um, Watkins cookbook. But look at the color of the paper, you can tell. A hemnal, an old hemnal. 
music book and more cooking pages. It's just insane. Math. So yeah, I just filled this um, with random bits. This is a, a, looks like an almanac. Grocery something or other. I don't know, but really good stuff. So then, that's an appendix. More recipes. Uh, this looks like a, um, what is that called? A ledger. An old school ledger. Big dictionary pages, but look at this. It's so awesome. And Allie, I had nothing like this. And then this one's a little bit more of a junior, looks like dictionary, but I love the red lettering. Insane, crazy, gorgeous. Um, look at this, an old children's book. Maps. So a lot of different maps. So yeah, so I just kind of assembled out of the goodies that she gave me, which is so much more. OMG, like a ton. I put it in this vintage looking folder and I just keep it up here for when I do some mixed media. Um, eventually, I will get to that. So thank you, Allie. But yeah, she gave me that owl too. She gave me a lot of good stuff. I'm telling ya. I can empty this. This is just water for when I paint. I'm Because you know what? I'm starting to... I'm going to sell some stuff on Etsy too. Hopefully this week it'll get listed and well, hopefully if you buy it, it'll sell, but I'm going to list it. Um, so I was painting. I, yeah, I just put that away. Um, this is just a little cutting, another um, self healing mat that I just keep right here too. Just the more area that I cover on my desk, the better. I just really, um, Trying to find that those Posca. Here they are. Um, it's just safer for me. So like, and also if I put the if I'm painting, I'll put the water on there so it doesn't like get on the desk. Or when I put my clay uh, machine, um, what is it called? My pasta machine. I use this underneath it because it it like scratches the table. So like I'll use that. So I just use it as a utilitarian type situation. Um, so that's about it. Now, that being said, this isn't really go-to. What's go-to is what's behind me. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna try and shoot this, but all right, let's see. I'll hold it like this. Okay, I'm backing up on my chair. Hopefully I won't pull out my plug. Now, the Razcog cart I have at the moment right here, but I think that's gonna go upstairs with me. I'm planning on taking a few things up to set up a little sewing area. I have a couple walls in the extra bedroom that I can use that I think will be plenty of room and the closet. And I think I'm gonna be good, but I think that's gonna go. So what all the stuff in that Razcog cart right now is for claying and I cleared enough space in this big cubby here that I think that's gonna go in here. And I have empty bins, These both those shoe boxes are empty so I think you know so I'm pretty sure everything on that can go in here and then that's going to go upstairs with me which I want because I, that's too cluttery for me right there I don't really want that there um, that being said though it's been awesome for go-to stuff um, right now this top drawer area there's my butt wipes and I call them butt wipes they're wet wipes and my wax paper, it's not wax paper, oh, deli paper is up on top of it. And then in the drawers is mixed media stuff. So it's um, the, the bottom, this drawer right here is all my stuff for Lifebook. Um, my Neocolor 2s, chalk, watercolors, oil pastels, um, and Neocolor 2s. Then here's my distress markers and my Tombow markers. And this is um, some stuff for jelly printing and because so, I was using my little jelly plate too sometimes, but it's, it could be all for mixed media. This is all mixed media stuff, art journaling, stuff like that. And these are great, you guys. These are awesome and they fit in my little cubbies perfect. So I have these all throughout to hold things and they're great for organizing. Um, then this is just your standard, I think it's five drawers, but this is a, I've had this forever 
and I ended up having my putting my resin stuff in here when I was doing resin but then I took all the resin out and put it and I still have that too but this is all go-to stuff like this is where I keep my heat tool sandpaper just bits and bobs and odds and ends um there's some stamping and some punches there uh, all my Tim Holtz distress inks and distress tools. This is my Versamark and all my archival inks and my Stazon inks. And then this is tools. So this is like my refills for my ATG gun, my beading tools, extra blades for my paper cutter, my tiny puncher, and just all that type of stuff. Hole punchers and all types of stuff like that. But this is a super handy, this desk didn't come with any drawers. It has underneath, which I'm showing you right now, I'm itching myself too. Um, but that is storage under there, but it's not easy access. So I mean, but I definitely have stuff under there. All those notebooks there hold my ATCs and my ATC collections and my, um, I want to say pen pal. Pen pal is all that's stuck in my head right now. Um, mail art, no. You guys know what I mean. I can't even think of it. And there's just, oh, more paint. There's some wood things that I could paint. Um, stamps that I used for clay, but I'm not using right now. More paint. And then that's my clay machine, my um, pasta machine. So that's at the ready, see, but I don't want it in view or kind of, it's out of sight, out of mind, because it's, it's kind of hideous. And I, I'm sure I could put it in a cuter bin, too. Uh, but it's just right there, and that's where I use it, so that's perfect. Um, all right, and then this one. So my RASCOG is going to go, so I'm going to pull it out of the way for right now. Sorry, guys. Let's just shoot over here. I'm pulling it out of the way. Love that it's on wheels. I'll stick it over here and see I just like this better now with it like not filled with anything it's just better I, I like it like that so let's see um, behind up against the wall there is my it's like big cardboard um, when I was doing paper crafting I would have uh, box cereal boxes back there and then that's my scoreboard my big Martha Stewart scoreboard because it's big so I just slide it back there um, and then here this is claying my extruder claying there's some mixed media up there which I think I'm going to move that and put it somewhere else it's just a book that I was pulling papers out of in an old um, not an old but a, a music sheet book a music book um more more things i don't really use at the moment my copics this is my uh, my pewter embossing which i haven't used in a while and my um my my stamp carving stuff and my brayer but um you know i'll get back to it but again it's at the ready but not totally ready um this is a mess but it's my um I have painter's tape, my glue gun, my envelope maker, um, a small score pal thing. Oopsie. So uh, I have, I have, it's just, it's kind of random. I think this was my mom's. I don't know how that got in there. Um, my, it's kind of, you know what it is? Um, it's tools like this thing, whatever it's called. I, I, all of a sudden, I'm having total brain overload. Um, my label maker, which I love, um, but haven't used in a while. But they're still there. That is scrap. That's all scrap paper. So I keep it down there in case I just need paper for some reason, like a piece of scrap paper or something. Um, and it's just junk. I don't really, bleh, I don't know. Um, let's see what's in here. This is stamps. There's, these are paper plates that I use to put my um, paint on, but there are stamps in there. It's mostly the Tim Holtz, all the Tim Holtz stamps and the Diane Reevely stamps. I, right now I see a couple Stampenda stamps. Um, and then these I just got and haven't used, but these would be great for clay. So I'll probably put them in a claying area or with the claying stuff. 
this is oops this is clay all clay um, I am going to be doing some cool stuff with clay I'm um, going to do some more embedding there's my bacon bond and that's all my letter stamps for clay my cookie cutters for clay this is mixed media so I'm not sure you know how I'll sort it I mean I'm used to it being here I love it oh my god I made this bug this is um what is her name I can totally picture her hold on it'll come to me but this was a tutorial that I did but I love him it's my little steampunk bug what is her I'm my brain is yeah I'm full as a uh, Gail said her daughter says our memory cards just full and my memory card is very full I need a new memory card um, more mixed media embossing powder my my waxy rub things um, my paper cutter always keep my paper cutter up there uh, all my art journals and notebooks and things stay uh, what is that called say oh sorry helps if I'm in the shot right um, sharpener uh, claying, claying, and just random. This is empty. These are both empty. Like I said, I think the Razcog, all the stuff from the Razcog is going to go in here. And these are just my, that's my embroider, or what is that called? My applique book cover. And I want to keep it, I want to, I want to keep it until I've done a couple more so that I have a reference. And that's just my Bible cover. So that's it. Oh, and this is just more paint because I have way too much paint. Like, it's just ridiculous. And then this is just a catch-all thing that I have, like my chapsticks in here. I have some mints in here. It's just random. Um, I have to put these in the back of some of the um, mirror frames that I'm that I finished, and these are the stands for them. So, just that. And there's my trash. So that's it, guys. That's that's basically what I keep at the ready at the moment. Um, I don't know if that helped at all. Um, but listen, make your space suit you. Do, you know, put, but I'm telling you, for me, having these little drawers, like I absolutely recommend these 100,000%. They, they contain small things. Because other than that, I used to keep everything in like a bin like this with like baggies. And I would just have a million baggies filled with stuff like this and it's just it's not as good <laughs> it's definitely not as good um, this is just buttons and stuff I'm gonna do another video on um, claying in a minute so um, but I hope that was helpful I'm very happy with my craft room and you know what thank you Peggy for asking that question because it totally inspired me to uh, look around and see what I had and what you know, I wasn't feeling very inspired. I had lost my mojo. Well, my husband was off for two weeks, so that helped. Um, we had fun. But I'm back, and um, I have some ideas. I have some things I want to share. So um, thank you guys for watching.